Hi friends, I'm Dr. Kavita Rao, the lead cornea cataract and refractive surgeon at Aditya Jyothai Hospital, a unit of Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital at Mumbai. I'm here to talk to you about your pre-LASIK evaluation. Do you want freedom from classes but are confused as to why the tests are essential for you, what kind of tests are needed and do you need the tests? Now what is the importance of a pre-LASIK evaluation? The two major goals of doing a pre-LASIK test, first and foremost it tells us whether your eyes are suitable for any kind of refractive surgery. Secondly it will tell us which kind of refractive surgery is best suited for your eyes. Now what do we do in a pre-LASIK evaluation? First and foremost, we start with history taking. In history, we want to know what is your occupation, what is your visual requirement, do you need to get free of you know, spectacles for distance, for near, whether you have a lot of screen time, what is your current comfort level with screen time, are you feeling fatigued at the end of the day, are you wearing contact lenses, because you need to be off lenses before we evaluate you for LASIK. We also need to know if you are taking treatment for any systemic diseases like diabetes, thyroid, autoimmune diseases because often if you are suffering from these you may be completely unfit for surgery or we may modulate your treatment and then plan surgery for you. We would also like to know if you are taking treatment like isotretinoin for acne because it can cause long term dryness of the eyes which we don't want after LASIK surgery. After a thorough history, we then move on to examination. The examination is divided into two parts. The initial part is a general examination which involves checking your eye number. We check your number with and without dilatation. We essentially want to know whether your number is stable. So we are going to look at all your past records. And only if your refractive error is stable, you will be considered as suitable for LASIK surgery. Secondly, we then move on to more specific eye examination. It begins with evaluating the ocular surface and the cornea. In the cornea, we have various advanced machines which can evaluate your cornea and tell us about your suitability for LASIK. Starting with corneal tomography. Corneal tomography is a more advanced version of corneal topography. What it does is that it not only studies your anterior corneal curvature, but also looks at your posterior corneal curvature and also tells us whether there is any weakness in your posterior cornea. So essentially if we find any signs which shows that your cornea is weak and not going to be able to withstand LASIK, we are not going to consider you as fit for LASIK. So this is for picking up early signs of post LASIK ectasia which is one of the most dreaded complications after LASIK. After looking at your tomography, we are going to study your corneal thickness map. Corneal thickness is called as pachymetry. Not only we study the thickness of the entire cornea, but we are also going to study the thickness of the corneal epithelium. This is one of the most sensitive indicators to know if there is any kind of indication for instability or post basic epithelium. And after studying this, we are going to move on and look at your corneal wavefront maps, which is your corneal aberrations. Now, why is aberrometry important? Because sometimes post LASIK, if the corneal aberrations are not addressed, the patient may end up with night vision issues like glare, halos. And if you have corneal aberrations to begin with, we will then go ahead and probably plan a surgery like Contura for you. Now after like moving on with these advanced corneal imaging technologies, we will then study your corneal surface and do a thorough dry evaluation. The dry evaluation involves studying the ocular surface, looking at the tear breakup time, looking at the corneal surface, seeing that there is no staining on the surface and then also measuring your actual dry, like actual tear production. After doing the dry evaluation, we move on and look at your binocular muscle balance. We make sure that you do not have any fusion issues because often, especially in patients with a very high number, patients can then land up with fusion problems after surgery and have night vision issues. So that is why we make sure we evaluate this before surgery. The last but not the least, we dilate you and check your retina, look at the health of the retina and ascertain your suitability of LASIK. Now all of these tests you may ask how long does it take? Do we have to like, spend your entire day with us? No. You come to us and you are free in a couple of hours and we we'll let you know whether you are free for, whether you are fit for surgery. Now after uh, doing this, we will tell you two things. First and foremost, we will tell you whether you are fit for surgery, any corneal based refractive surgery which is conventionally known as LASIK. 
if you're fit for LASIK, we'll tell you that. If not, then probably do you like are you fit for any lens-based surgery like ICA? We'll also discuss to you about that. Secondly, if you are fit for a corneal-based surgery, like I already mentioned, there are a plethora of options available to you. So which is best suitable for you, looking at your eyes, your occupation, your visual needs, are you fit for a smile? Is a bladeless LASIK suitable for you? Is an advanced surface ablation suitable for you? We are going to make a customized plan which is just for your eye and going to tell you, rather we are going to guide you as to what is the best option for you. That's all friends and uh, here's saying goodbye till we meet again.